Hello and welcome to Console Training. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're going through a really simple macro that solves a problem that many people have going from certain strobes to certain other strobes. So let's quickly look. We've got a, uh, a fairly standard situation. We've got uh, a festival, hypothetically, that's using our lovely friend, the, uh, the Nitro strobe. And if we click on the Nitro, we can see that all our, uh, all our parameters or all our dimmer values are off the dimmer 2 value. And if we were to clone this straight across to our atomics, we'd, we'd suffer some, uh, some issues with obviously not all that data carrying across. So, thankfully, there's a macro that will take dim2 and turn it into dim1. So let's look at the macro before we run it. Essentially the first thing it's doing is it's setting a bunch of variables for us. So it's asking what fixture IDs to pull these uh, these values from and where to uh, where to send those values. And then all it's doing is running a replace fixture. So we're going replace fixture source low which is the parameter called there through source high and then we're saying we're looking for the attribute dim2 and we're replacing it with destination high and destination low attribute dim. So it's essentially copying that information across. So it's sort of just pre uh, what we do uh, before we did a clone. So let's run it. So we can see that we've got a little queue list here. I'll select my nitros. We'll click through. We can see that we're all, we've all got dimmer values of uh, various ones across the queues on dim2. And if we click on our atomics, we can see that there's nothing there for them currently. So we'll uh, turn off this and we'll run dim2 to dim1. So our source fixture ID is 1 through 4 and we're going 5 through 8 and we can also call groups to do this and it's going to say yeah we're replacing some things and let's go OK and create report and it says that we're replacing four fixtures with parameters in this sequence that we've created and it's showing all our queues so we click OK and now if we click on our atomics and we run our queue list we can see those values have uh, carried across. Of course, with our nitros, because we're doing a replace, we've removed those values, which is fine because this is how we would uh, this is how we'd uh, copy things across. Hopefully, that's uh, hopefully that's helpful, and obviously we can go in the other direction if we want. But uh, this will help some people out there. Anyway, thanks for watching.